Somebody press last. Uh, it is our very last day we're returning to london this trip has just been so amazing but sadly it has now come to an end for this particular trip anyway and of course you already know we started it with a song or oh, songs and we are going to close and end it with songs you know and it's just so wonderful just seeing everybody or everyone just you know, having fun and yeah uh, just really making the most of every second spending together my aunties my grandma and also we just wanted to use this as an opportunity to do some family photos uh, my my mom on the day of the actual graduation celebration she wasn't able to take like full group pictures with the family and her graduation gown so we just wanted to use this as an opportunity to do that and literally just as usual again we haven't been supplied with electricity and we're all just here in the <laughs> dark trying to make the most of the every second every minute and not letting that bother we and uh, we just just getting on and it's just so great but then just as soon as i i was just saying you know this is just a beautiful moment that i wish that the national power authority can supply us with electricity and literally as soon as i had said that less than two minutes and the literally we just got and as you can see and literally i was just telling everybody i told you uh, i've got good luck if i say things if i manifest it it will happen and that's exactly what happened and it was just so hilarious and for it to happen as well the final day it's like you know they knew that we wanted to really end this well so thank god for that uh, so we'll be able to take at least clearer and brighter pictures and of everybody and it's just someone just seeing my grandma you know she's just here singing even though she's really of course she doesn't want to say goodbye and she literally just you know and whenever my grandma cries it just makes me want to cry as well because every time we go she will say you know maybe this is the last time you will see me i'm getting old i might not be here the next time you come and it's so so difficult just seeing her like that and we always just let her know we are just going for now we'll be back very soon we'll come and you'll be fine but of course it's really difficult to reassure her and it's hard because we don't also want to you know live with which we can all just be together all the time but unfortunately we have to live now and us being in this part of the world being in a first world country has really helped our family and uh, to boost our family so we just have to go back so we can hustle and grind and bring it back yeah but as hard that difficult as it is that's just what we've got to do but it is hard it's hard for us as well we might be singing dancing and all of that but deep inside we know of course we all just want to be together all the time but you know, it is where it is but we still just try and keep that communication thankfully now because of technology even when we're not there we're able to see them speak to them you know video calls and all of that so at least that helps as well and we are showing her that you no know, we're okay we'll be back very soon but of course it's not easy you know? and it just it just i don't i can't even imagine it isn't easy at all
See my cousin. This boy knows that this family is full is literally an orchestra choir band together, joined together. And he's here saying just when we thought okay, the singing and everything is over. And then he comes here asking them if they're feeling now they've gone back to the beginning <laughs> and starting all over to sing. <laughs> As if you like seriously, do you have to remind them? They finally stopped and then he came here asking them if they finished singing and now they've started. Seriously, <laughs> we're not going to leave. We're gonna be miss this flight. By the time they finish all the singing, <laughs> the flight will be in London already. <laughs> oh my lord, but I, 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 it's just too much. I do enjoy it though. I do really do enjoy it. Two thousand years later. <laughs> oh my god. Ten years later we are finally done with the singing and ready to actually take the photos now. So hopefully this will be quick and we can get on with it. Wanted to take a photo with also the t shirt that we had done for my mom's graduation. And we have come to the end of our vacation. We have packed and we're getting ready to leave. We're going to be going to there. What's the pack? No, I don't count to that noise. Everybody back out. Thank you. Come to the. Come to the end. Stop. Come to the end of the trip. That's my cousin Faye, aka my name Faye, because her name is Adam. So it's mine. Come to the end of the trip, and now. What's his name? Time for us to leave. Hmm. Um. This is not how I'm going. I'm gonna get have a bath. It's now nine. 9.13, we'll be leaving here around 11 to go and check in, but our flight is not until, th let me see 4 a.m. because it's 3.55, that's when our flight takes off from Lungay Airport, so we don't have to rush, we're already leaving Lunga anyway, we don't have to rush. So yeah, I'll try to do the pictures I can, it's been a good trip anyway. You know, the house is full right now. I need to charge my phone. The house is full. And well, Peter, this is the house is full right now. So many people. We've taken for family photos, for memory. It's been really good. I told you. Okay, we are ready to leave. And hope to say goodbye. We'll see again. Very, very soon. Goodbye. Good. They don't pull on already. To you and you and you and you and you. Good. See, I'm singing for these people. Goodbye. And they're looking at me like. Good. Yeah. Good. Ma, sing for her. Baby, they said I should sing for you. Hello, 
Una say for yourself then. Girl, cause you get for watch all the videos there by fire or by force. Whether I want to know what. Like it or not. You like it or not. Oh, Whether you like right it or not. <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> These are nice small red. Yeah, yeah, no, these are the ones that these are the ones your son has been. Yes. <laughs> the, your son, the pain that your son has been in this one. So you better be ready. So everybody needs medication. Everybody has this is anti prince. I did it. I'm sure. We are the more go. And here they sleep, but they have to wake up. It's time to go. Mama, Maji, Jida, it's time to go. Getting huh? ready to go to the end. How is seen is busy sleeping. How is it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Till we see again. Bye. Okay. That's the same. Well, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for looking after me. Hold me about the caput bar. Hold me that. The up and down, the talk. Like, thank you, and Emma. For all the kisses and now. Remember, eh, my government. Emma, remember, eh. I may have to remember, eh, my government. Come on, come on, come on, get it, Lago. Come on, come on, get it, Lago. Bangura, eh, that's all, remember, eh. You put up a lane. That's all, remember, eh. Bangura, eh, that's all, remember, eh, my government. Remember, Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So all the best. It's true. All right. Say bye, Adama. <laughs> bye, Adama. Bye bye. Wait me. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. Not well, not kiss the all for me now. Mr. Abu. Uda. Okay, love for me. Yeah. Kiji da. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. At least so they go light today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You tell him mommy goodbye. Yes, I tell her goodbye. Before you sleep, call her. But not well, before if you go sleep, because I know I get later. If you go again, then it goes the one for cry or yeah. this. Uh, I don't yeah. tell her. Say, you know, say I try to go try not to bad.
Tida, do you know where we are? Where are you? Can you shot? Yeah, where are you? Sierra Leone, where are you? Yeah, how? This is the airport. We're going back now, huh? Yeah, bro. How are you, baby? Uh, thank you, man. See the plane? We're gonna go into the plane. Hmm? This is the airport. We're gonna check in and you're going to go to the plane, okay? See? The big flight.
Why don't you want to win? Finally, after about half a day of traveling, we are finally arriving in London Gatwick Airport. 
and uh, I'm just excited to be home. I'm excited to go home and just, you know, get on with life and things. And you know, I've missed everyone: my husband, my sister, my nephews, everybody. I've missed. So I'm looking forward to being back. Although I do miss everybody back home as well. This trip has truly been one of the most meaningful trips I've taken back home. Although we were only there for three weeks, but it's definitely been very meaningful and both in my personal and also professional life. And I think coming back and seeing the work that the foundation continues to do, my nonprofit foundation, and I think getting to actually meet some of the patients that have been receiving support from us, like free medication and things like that, meeting them, going to the center where they get their treatment is the first time I actually like went to the place and seeing how much of a difference is making and how much the community appreciate the services that we're providing literally just going to places meeting people that i've never met and everybody just going ceo ceo even though i always tell them you can just call me miriam but clearly you know and even if i just go out to enjoy myself and go clubbing they will always be you know announcing we have the ceo here and i think it's just good to see how widespread is gone it, it's surprising to me but i'm so so grateful for me as long as we are able to continue to impact lives in a positive way for me is really um you know i can't thank god enough and in terms of my personal life, my family, the previous time we came, the twins were much younger, but now coming back, they can actually talk and they are more independent and can do so much. It's just, and this time they were able to really enjoy the trip and make the most of the environment everything was so fascinating to them they were curious and asking questions and also seeing how much they bonded with my entire family everyone and everybody that came for the not just even those at home but those that came for the celebration and that's another thing as well and previous trips you know every few people will come but the last time we were all together like that was my auntie's wedding in 2011 that's the last time like all of us were together as a, a family and unfortunately sadly this time that my auntie that had the wedding that we we're all together for the previous time sadly passed away in 2015 December so it, it was really hard and difficult all of us being together and her not being there so that that was quite difficult and this was the first time as well for us to go to the the place the area where she was buried and uh, that as well was uh, something that was very emotional and one of the most memorable aspects of the trip as well was going taking going to Makini that's my birthplace that's where everything started that's where I was born that's where I've had my first crisis you know going to that same house although of course it's a different house now because that one was burnt down during the war but then uh, destroyed during the war but going to that same road that same spot that my, my auntie carried me when I had my first crisis not even knowing what it was that's the place i was misdiagnosed that's the place i was told i would not leave past the age of 16. that's the place that i had such a traumatic experience in a hospital being pronounced dead literally so coming back here 
all these years later with not just not just having surpassed all of that the expectancy and everything i've achieved with god's grace and coming back with my kids kids that i was told i would never even have and coming back with my twins and them going there it was just something that is it will forever stay with me it was really meaningful and seeing as well my mom's hard work going back to my mom's old college she what she left there with hdc and now she went back with masters and and her grandkids so that was something amazing and and also the kids experiencing that was really good and also during our trip to my in McKinney they also got to meet with my dad for the first time and meet their grandpa so that as well was really really special that they got to now at least they've met they, they, they know their grandma of course but also meeting their granddad so that was even though we didn't have much time but it, it, it's still very memorable and it's just it's just been really good all around and seeing my mom's hard work come together and all of us coming together to celebrate her masters it was just wonderful you know and so emotional and i know because she's wanted this and thankfully my grandma is still alive to see that and i know how special that is for her and i can't even describe the feeling just seeing my mom in her gown hugging her mom you know and we've come a long way and this trip just brought everything together and i think what i learned as well from this trip is just not taking life for granted and seizing every moment because as soon as we got back in february current the pandemic started coronavirus became an official pandemic and everything was shut down and since then so many lives have been lost even i had a crazy scare and thought i w- and they thought i had it thankfully i didn't but it just goes to show like we need to seize every moment we need to go out there and chase our goals our dreams because we keep putting things off we almost were going to um to push the trip to april thankfully we didn't and we went because had we done that we would not have been able to because now everything has been shut down we don't know what it's like everybody is in lockdown so and just thinking about it there will be people that our paths would have crossed during this trip at some point that are no more that are now gone whether due to corona or something else so we need to take seize every moment make the most of it and i am so grateful for everything for every second and i'm glad that even when i started this foundation a lot of people were skeptical why do you need you already sick you're this but i went with my heart i went with my what i was truly passionate about so take nothing for granted I appreciate every moment every day follow your goals your dreams no matter how difficult at least you've tried even if you didn't succeed it's better to try and fail than not try at all that fear that we have you have to put that aside and i think that's what we can take from everything going on now thank you all so much for watching for being coming along this journey with us with me and my family during this trip i have a playlist set up if you've missed any of the other episodes from this trip this um the civilian trip i'll have a playlist which i will link in the description and also at the end of this video thank you i really appreciate your support and please whatever it is i hope and pray that this will motivate you it will inspire you 
to go for it have no fear just go for it seize the moment take nothing for granted those around you don't stop putting things aside or away because at the end of the day even though we say i'll do it tomorrow there may never be a tomorrow thank you continue to look after yourself and i pray all of us will make it through all of this i know it is not easy it's difficult but just believe this too shall pass and we will all be together again with our families and when we do get over this please let's all take it as another chance to really do things right this time and go for what we want to do our passion our goals and everything thank you so much and have a blessed blessed day